serving up his two virgin daughters was too much. But I wasn't there, and I don't know what... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't talked in many, many, <clears throat> many hours. Um, thank you very much for joining uh, Bible and Revelations. Um, we finally finished <laughs> book six of, of Daniel. It was very long and um, complicated and uh, um, intense. A lot of things happened. Excuse me one second. Uh, I'm think I'm going to try to upgrade my um, my camera here pretty soon. This one it only records for 11 minutes, four gigabytes, um, according to some. Um, rule set down by uh, the government in Europe so that uh, if you buy a um, recording device that records over four gigabytes um, I think their term was 30 minutes it records over 30 minutes but this is high definition low definition 30 minutes uh, then they charge you uh, I think it was $250 tax so they sell them in Europe, they sell them here. I've got this um, limitation. Um, there are workarounds. There was a, a thing I could add to it for $500 that would let it to record indefinitely. Or I could use my phone, my son tells me. So um, I'm looking into it. I, I would like to record for more than 11 minutes. Uh, initially I was doing it and then combining them but that computer crashed and my new computer um, the video editor will not allow me to combine videos I'll look into it anyway so we're on um, Genesis 31 uh, in Genesis 30 um, Jacob had had four children from his two wives um, Rachel and uh, Rachel and uh, Bella <coughs> no Rachel and Leah Rachel was the girl he wanted but he had to marry Leah first because she was older than Rachel and if he married Rachel then Leah couldn't find a husband so Rachel's um, maid, Billa, had two sons, Dan and Neftali, for, for Jacob. And then Leah's maid had two sons for uh, Jacob, Gad and Asher. Dan means judge, Neftali means my wrestling, Gad means a troop, and Asher means happy. Um, so, uh, now we're at uh, Genesis 31. Jacob uh, flees from Laban. He, so now he's, um, he's running from Rachel and Leah's father. Let's see what's going on here. Jacob was exceedingly, exceedingly blessed and... Um, I believe the difference in his productivity uh, from his flocks and and um, uh, vegetables and fruits that he was growing, everything would grow twice as fast in his camp as opposed to the Laban and his other family. And it was leading to some conflict. So here we are. Um, Jacob flees Laban. In time, he got to hear the words of the son, the sons of Laban, saying, Jacob has taken everything that belonged to our father, and from what belonged to our father, he has amassed all this wealth. When Jacob would look 
At the face of Laban, here it was not with him as formerly. So the, the, the sons of Laban are all accusing Jacob of stealing because he's so wealthy because God showers him with abundance. Now Laban is even getting upset with Jacob. So finally, Jehovah said to Jacob, Return to the land of your fathers and to your relatives, and I shall continue with you. Then Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah out to the field of, to his flock. And he said to them, I am seeing the face of your father, that he is not the same toward me as formerly. But the God of my father has proved to be with me. And you yourselves certainly know that with all my power I have served your father. And your father <clears throat> has trifled with me, and he has changed my wages ten times. But God has not allowed him to do me harm. If, on the one hand, he would say, The speckled ones will become your wages, then the whole flock produced speckled ones. But if, on the other hand, he would say, The striped ones will become your wages, then the whole flock produced striped ones. So God kept taking the herd of your father away and giving it to me. So he's saying he can't help it. God is blessing him. It's not his fault that everything he does prospers. Um, at, at last it came about at the time when the flock got in heat that I raised my eyes and saw a sight in the dream. And here the he-goats springing upon the flock were striped, speckled, and spotty. Then the angel of the true God said to me in the dream, <coughs> Jacob, to which I said, Here I am. And he continued, Raise your eyes, please, and see all the he-goats springing upon the flock are striped, speckled, and spotty. For I have seen all that Laban is doing to you. <clears throat> I am the true God of Bethel, where you anointed a pillar, and where you vowed to vow a vow to me. Now get up, go out of this land, and return to the land of your birth. So apparently God is speaking to Jacob. That's um, um, a big blessing. At this Rachel and Leah answered and said to him, Is there a share of inheritance for us any more in the house of your father? Are we not really considered as foreigners to him since he has sold us? So that he keeps eating continually even for the money given for us? So I guess the girls are concerned about Jacob's father not leaving them any inheritance. <clears throat> For all the riches that God has taken away from our father are yours and our children's. So now everything God has said to you, do. Then Jacob got up and lifted his children and his wives onto the camels. And he began driving all his herd and all the goods that he had accumulated. <clears throat> the herd of his acquisition that he had accumulated in Padan Aram. In order to go to Isaac, his father, to the land of Canaan. Now Laban had gone to shear his sheep. <clears throat> Meantime, Rachel stole the teraphim that belonged to her father. So Jacob outwitted Laban, the Syrian, because he had not told him that he was running away. So Rachel stole the teraphim, and Jacob out, uh, is sneaking away from Laban. Okay, and he proceeded to run away and to get up and cross the river, he and all he had. 
<clears throat> After that, he directed his face to the mountains, the mountainous region of Gilead. Later on the third day, it was told to Laban that Jacob had run away. With that, he took his brothers with him and went chasing after him for a distance of seven days journey, a distance of seven days journey, and caught up with him in the mountains, region, the mountainous region of Gilead. So um, Laban has caught up with um, Jacob in the mountainous region of Gilead, and um, I suppose he's going to confront him. And that's what's going on. <clears throat> so, um, that's all that I have time for, um, for this episode. The uh, 11 minutes are up. I'm very sorry. I will continue later. God bless you. And have a great week.